1972 here. Of course, you know me as Brian by now, of course. Um, anyways, as the title says, it's uh, Black Panther that I purchased on Blu-ray and uh, my two Barnes & Noble uh, Criterion pickups uh, from the... Yeah, from the Barnes & Noble sale, the 50% off Criterions. So we'll start off with Black Panther. I got this used off of eBay. Um, I got this, my, my nephew say this is a really good film. Um, one of my fellow uh, YouTube friends and Facebook friends, uh, LJ Draco's movie channel, he really likes this film a lot and he really uh, champions this film. Um, but yeah, so, you know... Um, I've bought my nephews the um, when I when I visited them in Montreal last September. I bought them some graphic Black Panther graphic novels, and um, I and uh, I work at the library. We do have this at the at the library, but we've been closed since late March, and I don't know exactly as to when we'll be able to be open again. And I was going to watch this on Netflix, but by the time I did, it was pulled off. I think it might be on Disney Plus right now. But anyways, I do enjoy special features, and this is some special features on it. Um, it has uh, from page to screen, a roundtable discussion, deleted scenes and gag reel, crowning of a new king. Explore Black Panther's world and all its color and complexity. The warriors within. Get to know Wakanda's women and the act actors who played them. The Hidden Kingdom revealed Wakanda's diverse people. Wakanda revealed exploring the technology. Exclusive sneak peek at Ant-Man and the Wasp. Marvel Studios, the first 10 years, connecting the universe and more. I think there's more than just that. Because I, I, I think I looked it up on the internet and there's, there's quite, quite a lot of special features. Which... Um, you know, um, enhances the viewing experience of not just watching the movie, but seeing what takes place behind the scenes. So anyways, I'll be watching that. Um, and, uh, thank you, Amari and Zanebe. Um, I'll be watching this. I'll, I'll be sure to watch it. Oh, and then, you know, here's a slip cover. Same thing as the regular case. And then I purchased two criterions on the Barnes and Noble sale. Um, before I show them to you, just to preface, um, I, um, I, I, when I spend up to two thousand five hundred dollars on my uh, Barnes and Noble Mastercard, I get a twenty five dollar gift certificate to Barnes and Noble, either one of their stores, their brick and mortar stores, or online. If I buy it in one of their stores, I get ten percent off of my Barnes and Noble membership, and then I. If I get it, if I buy it online, I get free shipping. So um, I intend I had intended to go to my family get together in upstate New York this year, but because of coronavirus, doesn't look like it's going to happen for me because um, there's a Barnes and Noble up there, and I would have got ten percent off. But then I got it this way, so I got free shipping. I'm still still waiting for my Barnes and Noble ca card to come. My, my Barnes & Noble gift card to come in the mail um, because it usually comes right after my credit card billing cycle for each month, and I don't know why it didn't come right away. And if, if it doesn't come tomorrow, I, um, I'm, I think I'm going to give them a call and say, you know, tell them that I haven't received it yet. And when I do receive that card, I'll apply it towards the next sale in November. But anyways, um, I, I, there was two I had my eye on. And um, eyes on, and um, the gifts. So, so each Blu-ray at normal cost costs forty bucks. At half price, it costs twenty bucks. Um, so the gift certificate is twenty-five dollars. So that's twenty dollars for what would one one gift certificate would pay for one Blu-ray. So I wouldn't have to pay for that. And then the ne next Blu-ray would be like twenty dollars again. So that'd be five dollars left over, and it'd be maybe fifteen dollars, or with tax and everything. Um, yeah, so fifteen, thirteen dollars, somewhere in there. So, but I, I wanted to get these before they sold out, or or were out of stock, or whatever. So I got this, 
Buster Keenan's a cameraman, which I haven't opened. I just took off the wrapping. It came out in 1928, 69 minutes. It's a silent movie. The only other Buster Keaton movie I have is um, The General. Um, it looks like it's a cubist, you know, like Picasso, that kind of uh, approach. Oh, and there's a nice booklet here. There's he, there he is with one of the old silent cameras. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed Buster Keaton, and he's one of those guys like... Uh, Harold Lloyd. I have, I have like four Harold Lloyd criterions. And um, I have um, a whole bunch of Chaplin ones. Um, I think this is the very first Buster Keaton criterion. I, 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 I don't think I've seen this film, but, but maybe I have. I'm, I've, seen, I've seen a bunch of his movies. I brought them from the library, um, but I don't remember if I've seen this one. I don't. I I think I haven't, because um, maybe I would have remembered the title, or I could have forgotten for all I know. So. So, you know, it's just slapstick humor. Nice uh, packaging, I think. Then I picked this up, War of the Worlds. The novel was written by H.G. Wells. Um, this came out in 1953, 85 minutes. Um, George Powell, I, I basically bought it cause, because of George Powell with it doing it. Um, it's got a lot of special features on here. Um, the auto commentary from 2005 featuring filmmaker Joe Dante, film historian Bob Burns, and author Bill War Warren. Uh, a, program, a program of the visual effects uh, featuring Ben Burt, who did the sound effects for Star Wars, and his visual effects supervisor Craig Barron, who worked for ILM. Uh, that's George Lucas's special effects company. But uh, just a bunch of stuff in here. It looks like a lot of special features. A radio play. I don't want to bore you too much. Um, there's a documentary about the making of the film from 2005. And just to... Um, just, just to um, say something interesting... The uh, HG, oh, I have another HG Wells Criterion. I, I bought a while back, a few years back. Um, Things to Come. I think it's a DVD, but that was before I owned a Blu ray, and I, 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 I bought a Blu ray player in 2014. So it's at least six, more than six years ago, I bought Things to Come. But, anyways, it's, it's also. Things to Come, like War of the Worlds, is based on an H.G. Wells novel. And the other thing I'll mention, just incidentally, my birthday, September 21st, is also H.G. Wells' birthday. Just, it's just, I don't know if that's trivial information, but that's just, just, just some, you know, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, War of the Worlds, Buster Keaton's the cameraman, and... Um, let's see. Black Panther. All right. Thanks for watching. Comments are welcome. See you soon. Bye now.